Buried beneath centuries of dust and silence, a stone coffin was pulled from the scorched earth of Uttar Pradesh. Its seal had not been broken for thousands of years. Inside, wrapped in linen that had blackened with age, lay a skeleton. And something no one expected. A sample of DNA so ancient, so pure, it should not have survived the climate, the time, or even history itself. The excavation team froze. What they had unearthed wasn't just a body. It was a message, a biological time capsule that whispered of a forgotten world, a world that predated everything we thought we knew about the origins of India. As scientists sequenced the genetic code, alarms went off. This DNA didn't match any known lineage in South Asia. It was older, stranger. It pointed to a migration no textbook ever mentioned, to a people long erased from the cultural memory. Until now, how could a single coffin, buried in the dry plains of northern India, contain evidence that challenges the entire timeline of civilization on the subcontinent? What lost chapter of history is hidden in the DNA of this ancient body? India's ancient history is among the richest on Earth. The Indus Valley Civilization thrived over 4,500 years ago, with cities like Mohenjo-daro and Harappa boasting advanced engineering, complex trade networks, and written scripts that still baffle scholars. Yet, most of what we know begins around 1500 BCE, when the so-called Aryan migration supposedly introduced the Vedic culture. For decades, this theory shaped the narrative of South Asian origins. But now, in the heartland of Uttar Pradesh, a region tied to sacred epics and powerful empires, a discovery has shattered that neatly arranged timeline. The coffin was found near the ancient settlement of Sanauli, a site already famous for its chariots and burial rituals unlike anything in known Vedic culture. But this? This was different. The DNA extracted was at least 5,000 years old, predating the Aryan migration entirely. And what's more, it showed genetic links not to Central Asia, but to a forgotten branch of humanity, previously undocumented in this region. Could India's origins lie not in invasion or migration, but in a civilization even older than the Vedas themselves? It began with a routine dig. Archaeologists from the Archaeological Survey of India were expanding excavations in Sanauli, a site that had already stunned the world in 2018 with the discovery of chariots, weapons, and warrior graves dating back to 2000 BCE, elements previously unseen in ancient India. But just meters beyond the main burial ground, ground-penetrating radar revealed an anomaly, a stone rectangle buried beneath layers of hardened soil. Days of delicate excavation followed. Then... The moment. A carved lid was lifted, revealing a coffin sealed so tightly it had preserved its contents through millennia of monsoons and scorching summers. Inside lay the skeletal remains of an adult male, adorned with copper crown fragments, and beside him a small container of hardened resin. Within it, a sliver of preserved bone, shielded from time. What no one realized yet was that this tiny fragment held secrets older than the Mahabharata, older than the Rig Veda, secrets that could rewrite the entire prehistory of the Indian subcontinent. Could this be the missing link to a civilization erased from all known records? The bone sample was rushed to a state-of-the-art genetics lab in Lucknow, then cross-analyzed with samples in Europe and the United States. The challenge was enormous. India's subtropical climate is brutal on DNA. The heat, moisture, and time usually erase all trace of genetic material. But somehow, this fragment was different. Traces of resin and mineral buildup had protected the inner marrow, creating a molecular time capsule sealed away from entropy. Dr. Kavita Rao, 
a renowned paleogeneticist, led the team. Her first task, extract viable strands without destroying the sample. Using next-gen sequencing and ancient DNA amplification techniques, the lab retrieved a full mitochondrial genome. What they found was staggering. The haplogroup didn't align with the Indo-Aryan markers that dominate North Indian populations. Nor did it match Dravidian, Central Asian, or even Southeast Asian lines. It was a ghost lineage, something unseen in modern databases. This triggered alarms. Were they looking at a lost population? A now extinct civilization? The data hinted at an isolated genetic branch one that had lived, thrived, and vanished before history could catch its breath. But why had no trace of them remained? Until now. It was more than a ghost lineage. It was an echo from a time when civilization, as we define it, hadn't even begun. When the full nuclear genome was reconstructed, it told a story no textbook ever dared to suggest. This man, buried in the Sonali coffin, bore genetic markers that matched not with Central Asia, not even with Mesopotamia, but with a population once thought to exist only in theory, a basal Eurasian group, predating the great human migrations into India by over 2,000 years. Carbon dating of the surrounding coffin confirmed it, approximately 2600 BCE. But the genome was even older in structure, almost archaic. It contained segments previously only found in remains from Neolithic Iran and pre-agricultural communities in the Zagros Mountains. Yet here it was, in the heart of Uttar Pradesh. The implications were devastating to the traditional Aryan migration model. Instead of a cultural import from the West, this body suggested India had its own deep-rooted, complex lineage potentially one of the oldest continuous human populations on Earth. Not migrants, not invaders, but a native civilization with unknown origins and, possibly, unknown achievements. What civilization did this man belong to, and how advanced was the world he came from? Picture the plains of northern India, 5,000 years ago. But erase what you think you know. No Vedic chants. No step warriors. Instead, sprawling settlements hidden beneath centuries of dust, their streets paved with fired bricks, drainage systems more advanced than any known contemporary culture, and burial customs that rival the precision of the Egyptians. This man wasn't a wandering nomad. He was part of a structured society, likely a warrior or a noble as suggested by the copper-decorated crown fragments found beside him. Around him, life flourished in ways we're only beginning to understand. Trade routes stretched west toward Persia and east toward Southeast Asia. Symbols carved into pottery hint at a written language, undeciphered, forgotten. Tools made of copper, stone, and ivory suggest a technological sophistication far beyond what history books admit for this time and place. And in the quiet of twilight, funeral rites were performed. His body was placed in a carved coffin, sealed with resin, and lowered into the earth. Not in haste, but with ritual, with meaning. As if those who buried him knew that one day he would speak again. Through his DNA, through science, through us. Could this civilization be the missing piece in the human story? The true cradle of Indian identity, buried and waiting all along? The discovery in Uttar Pradesh is more than an archaeological marvel. It's a wake-up call. For centuries, history has been written by fragments, by victors, by assumptions. But DNA doesn't lie. It preserves the truth, molecule by molecule waiting to be heard. And in this case, it told us something astonishing, that India's origins may not lie in waves of conquest, but in a forgotten native civilization, ancient, advanced, and erased. Until now.
What else lies beneath the soil, still undiscovered? How many chapters of human history remain hidden, waiting for a crack in the earth to reveal them? And more urgently, what stories have we lost, simply because we weren't ready to believe them? The past is not a closed book. It's a living code, inscribed in our bones, in our blood, in the silence between ruins. The man in the coffin is speaking again, not through myth, but through science, and his voice challenges everything we thought we knew. If this mystery moved you, hit like, subscribe, and dive into more untold stories on our channel. Because this is just the beginning.